welcome to another of my videos. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna tell you guys that since well, probably you already read the title up here. Um, it's gonna be about scorpion fish, red fish, you know. Um, because I've actually searched uh, on YouTube tons of times and actually looked it up, and there's no real um red fish fishing uh for scorpion fish. <laughs> No scorpion fish fishing uh, video that actually talks about it, and I actually am a great fan of scorpion fish fishing, and um, I'm gonna teach you guys some techniques. First, the technique that is probably the easiest um, is nice sinker, um, like a nice sinker, which I actually don't have here, sadly. Um, and you get that, and you uh, put it at the bottom. And then make a little loop, not um, and like 20 inches from the sinker. And then tie a, a small leader and put some squid, like um, you like you, you chop up the squid into rings, and then you cut the ring so that it's like one strip, one strip like this long, and you want to have it um, all nice and well, it's a bit with the hooks hiding in it. But it has to be all wavy, because I don't know why uh, that really attracts them, and they bite for it. The good thing about that technique is that if you cast it there, then you leave it for a couple hours, you come back. Um, usually, 95% of the time, I always get a fish, and um, obviously this depends on the spot you're fishing at. Uh, another technique is getting a rig, um, even if this is really a pain in the butt. Maybe if you have a not machine thing that I actually have, um, that maybe makes it simpler. You won't get one of these tiny, tiny, tiny little hooks. I'm not sure you guys can see that. Let me see if that focuses in. Well, believe me, it's tiny. Um, and you get like four or five of these and make a. Like piece of line that's this long and fill it up with these four or five hooks uh, and that guy it pretty much you just put the squid like the other one on each every of the, those little hooks and uh, just get uh, maybe a bigger your, uh, hook set because you have the more but smaller hooks which might uh, increase uh, but um, now the technique that I use I mean to keep my things organized, I just get the hooks and tie them on and then just put it on some wood or some, I don't know, cork, little thing. Maybe um, something like this guy, like here, um, yeah, like that. Okay, so that techniques, those techniques are done. And um, another technique that I use, which is awesome. And it's really simple. I'm not sure if you can find these guys um, in the any U.S. shop, but uh, here in Europe you find them usually, nearly in every shop. And um, it's these guys. Uh, I think it's just in France. I think those are these are French. It's called Raglo. I think yeah, it's French. Um, and I think I already talked about these in another video, but um, remind me if I'm not. Uh, if I hadn't, I mean, the, the tail is really wiggly, and I think that's really the main part. The body is very soft but durable. The whole thing is very durable, and uh, yeah, the tail actually is made to wiggle because it has this thing when it goes up. And what you do is get your hook. Uh, usually, they already have one inside, and um, you take these guys apart, and you get one of these sinkers. I think I already talked about in another video. And like this, and put it on the line, and then put a sinker stop thing, like a bob stop, um, like a bit, like I don't know, ten inches from your line, and um, uh, and stop it there. And this guy's three grams. Um, I'm not sure how many ounces or stuff. Um, but um, I mean around three grams, five grams, seven grams, like that. Um, these guys are fine. Put it there, and then what you want to do? Tie your hook, your beautiful hook. Um, you can use other hooks, but um, 
these are BMCs, the ones that are still that are still inside and uh, pre-packed with it. Um, well, these guys are very good. Um, the point doesn't get um. I mean, you don't have to sharpen every every uh, hook set and stuff, so it's good. Okay, so imagine you have line patch. Wait, where am I? Let's get it right here. Oh my god, my yellow braid. So you guys can see it. Um. Okay, where is the sinker? Oh yeah, but yeah, whatever. Um, I'll just directly hook it here. Okay, put it through again. Couple twists, and then back into the loop. Here you go. Okay, so wet it up. Um, you just cut this little bit off, and um, I think I've already showed you guys. But you get this thing. Technically, they want you to put your hook like this. Um, because there's like a tube, and the direction of the tube is like that. But really, don't do it. Uh, what is actually better is if you thread it like this and then you make it go about like I'll show you guys here um, I guess you guys can see that right focuses um, well whatever it's right here but this part of the fish, little fish, here. Okay, so that, that's where you want your hook to be at. And um, you want to have the hook going with a point down, like this. Not like this. Because um, when you cast this, you want to have this guy pass through the weeds. And because that's where they mainly go through the weeds and on the sandy bottoms and behind the rocks and uh, so yeah and uh, since they're from the bottom they're gonna bite from the bottom and um the softest part of the moth is here from for the scorpion fish usually and yeah and by the way be careful when you handle with those fish uh even when they're dead because um they're very po they're poisonous when um i mean um uh, they can hurt you bad um let me cut off the line if you can. So, um, whatever. Okay, so I'll just get this rod. Okay, so, um, me. Let's stop a bit. Oh, sit. Okay, so, um, you guys probably already, um, saw the video on this thing, or also just go check it up. It's, check it out, and it's on my video, one of my videos. Okay, so, um, technically, Instead of this hook, you want to have um, one of these tiny, tiny, tiny little jig heads. Um, this is that. This is not even lead. I think um, it's the other material that it's not toxic or something. I never remember the name. But uh, that guy, and you want to get one of these little trailers. This guy is right here, and. You want to hook it from the top, very simply. Um, then get them like this, and then you thread it out so it's like that. And then you want to have another one. You might well you either have it keep it like this and do something else that I'm going to show you, or else you just get keep it like this. Then have another little, little trailer here that um it's got two torches from and if it bites on this one it's gonna bite on this one too anyways so um yeah well that that's usually what they do or else you uh, thread it back down and you just um keep the eye of the hook buried uh buried in there and have the hook be very um free 
So technically this is what we're doing. And it's like this from the top. Okay. So that's um it's like a Texas rig. But um it's not inside, I guess. Uh I mean you can put it inside but um the hook sets don't get uh, as frequent as they do. Well at least usually. I'll just make like some something similar to our uh, Texas rig. Um, if you're in extreme weed stuff, um, and if you do that, you want to make sure that there's a like, kind of a loop here so that it, it uh, spins easily. Okay, so um, after that, um, another thing that I do, um, if I get to cut this thing off, I can actually never mind. Um, is you you actually use bait fish um and the very so, some people maybe don't know how to catch bait fish maybe they know where it is and maybe they don't want to go from a pier or something and where there's everybody I don't know looking at you and go and cast in it maybe you're not even allowed to um so the something that you probably might know um or if you don't um just try it out so be rig um, tons of types, um, all great. It's pretty cheap, I guess, for the amount of bait fish you can catch. Um, these guys usually are durable. What it is, it's you guys can see from the package. Whip. It's these um little hooks. Whoa. And uh, little golden hooks. And then it has a little body with some feathers and stuff. Little. This guy has a um, kind of little head, a metal head, so it sinks faster. And it's got these guys, this shiny guys right here to track bait fish. What you do is you get a sinker at the bottom, then from the swivel on top, you want to uh, attach to the line. And then uh, go next to your bait fish and kind of check a little bit and um, work it. Um, I'm not much of a pro on this speaky rig type. But um, I use the usually um use it effectively, effectively. Okay, so um for now it's I guess the end of the video, and um if I don't get to post another video um Merry Christmas I guess, yeah um or whatever Merry uh, vacations I guess whatever. <laughs> um I hope guys are already in vacation or all so kind of that sucks. Uh -huh. Just kidding. Um, enjoy your family time and stuff, and I hope I'll post another video. And um, yeah, see you later.